What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Y, checking in once again. Tony Digital, bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking crack at it with a very special video today. Guys, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday today. It's actually 6.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we speak. When I shot this video, I wanted to get this thing out to you right now as soon as possible as an update video, but also a huge unboxing that I got here. Special collaboration sneaker. We'll be checking out very soon. One off the rip. New sneakers on twowildscloset.com as I st uh, st spoke about that a couple times in the past videos new shoes up to date will be linked down below in the description sizes eight and a half to nine good prices fair prices feel free to email me if you have any questions on that number two sample industries the flannel 2.0 drop just dropped last night a lot of sizes are gone a lot of sizes are gone a few sizes left on that check that out sample ind.com will link that down below in the description as well third we're going to be bringing out a lot of bangers this upcoming week one thing i want to see off the rip this sneaker right here came through in the mail a couple days ago and some other people have already unboxed it. I promise you from now on guys, I'm gonna be getting these videos out faster because I feel like one of the things with my channel that I need to fix and focus on more is being first. Two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. What does it take to be number one? Only OGs understand that song. But anyways, yeah, I need to get the video out as soon as possible. So from now on, if I'm just, like if I'm at the house and knock comes on the door at three o'clock and you know, 3 p.m. Chance Sports, I'm unboxing that shit the day of and uploading the videos like I used to. I've been kind of like taking my time trying to be specific and get the best visuals for the video on the unboxing. I'm gonna be focused on what's at hand at the end of the day to get that video out to you guys as soon as possible and to be that first person to get it out because that's what it is. I'm just trying to be number one at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, strive to be number one, can't complain about that. But today guys, we have a special package in from the family over at Puma. Now, off the rip, I need to know down below, cause I got, I, I, I've, ever since I've made my channel guys, I never understood what side of the fence that my viewers are. I, I still to this day have not fully figured out you guys. One side I got the hype beast, the other side I got the OGs. I'm right in the middle so I'm always constantly battling to figure out you know what you guys are liking but then I can't please you guys all the time I, have to, I gotta be able to put the content that I want to put out but what I'm gonna say is off the rip is the reason why I'm saying that is because tomorrow I got a sneaker that's gonna be for the hype beast and all the people are gonna hate on it you know all the people are gonna be like man you're a fucking hype beast but whatever they're gonna talk that shit when I come with this you know regular GR sneaker like a Puma it's like, yo, this is trash. How much they paying you? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, or if I cop a GR Jordan, it's, these are trash. These are Basuda. You know what I'm saying? It's all this and that. That's what I get. But then when I pick up that that off white or that collaboration that's popping, the panties are no longer dropping. You know what I'm saying? People are like, yo, what is this hype beast bullshit? You feel what I'm saying? But anyways, man, that's just one thing I would like for you guys to comment down below. Bam! You got these three sneakers on deck. It seems like two collaboration pieces and a shoe in the middle. Let me see right here what off the rip we got here. Off the rip collaboration Puma with Polaroid. We got three sneakers in this thing. And right here, these are actually the RS100 and Polaroid collab, which I will be linking down below in the description, everything to these sneakers if they are still available. I think these are originally like released way back in like, uh, I would like to say September, but that was in Berlin at I want to say the name of the store is Better Butter, Bread Butter. I, I would have to, I'm going to see if there's a card in here somewhere to explain it. This is the RS100, which I have not seen or held in my hands yet. The RSO is what we've been dealing with a lot lately. But overall, this is a nice, like, little classic look. This RS100 with the R system. This must be, like, an actual, like, OG sneaker right here. This model, RS100. This The, the, the mid on here is very sleek. It's somewhat of a midsole that i have not seen in quite some time there's no type of texture to it very very sleek the uppers of this is very very nice jurassic park leather straight cow nuts on the upper of suede polaroid on the toe box on the tongue right here and they got that polaroid like color right there just going through puma on the back the bottom rainbow effects takashi 69 hairstyle and uh you get this little polaroid tag right here these are very nice in quality these are actually a size eight and a half. Let's check out the other one. Majority of the time, the other shoe is the same, but you never know these days, man. We, we be having shoes that be totally different. Yo, the quality, the leather, smells like straight orangutan nuts, and these are some great smelling leather shoes. Damn, the quality on these are A1 steak sauce. All right, next up, we got a regular Puma box right here. 
fam. And this is actually a Puma RSO Optic. And this is like a basic RSO right here. Gray upper neutral. Nice overall neutral color. The RSOs go for a great price. I believe at $110, $100. Can't really beat it. I've still been on the Puma wave. I stuck with it. You know, through all the haters and people that say they're ugly. It is what it is. I like them overall though. Can't, you know, deny it. Um, this colorway in general is very, very bland to me though. This is straight neutral. But, I mean... The thing about gray is you can rock with white, you can rock with black, you can rock gray with pretty much everything. I'm wearing gray right now. So it is a good neutral shoe to go with. And the model, the RSO, is one of my favorites. But there is a new Puma model that will be coming out soon that I will be unboxing that uh, them shit's looking crazy. The toe is leather. We have some leather mesh and like a polythermal, polytheramate. I don't know what kind of material this is. Creepy critters on my nutsacks material though. But overall, a very, very bland shoe. Not the best colorway I've seen, but I mean, it's it's cool. It's cool, but I wouldn't pick it up. I would I would definitely pick these up, but not those. And then last but not least, I believe these are the RSOs we got. Puma RSO Polaroids. Let's see what we got here on these, because these might be fascinating. Ooh, chee wally wally. Ooh, chee bang bang. These bitches are crispy cream bro midsole is all black all upper full of straight giraffe uranium ass licking chew suede this is a nice very very plus suede on the uppers right here we have the tongue with the polaroid strip polaroid tag right here it's about time for me to grab a polaroid camera i want to get those vintage pictures out on deck on the inside we have here polaroid and puma collaboration the bottom all black this is the one for me right here. I like these a lot. Don't get me wrong. I like these a lot. I like that classic look. I probably be wearing these before I wear these, in all honesty. But these I'm definitely keeping. Like, I've been having a lot of shoes that I've been keeping. I've been giving away. Some I've been selling on the Two Wild Closet. But these, I definitely will be keeping the collection. It's just a classic overall looking sneaker. RSO, RS100. And I think I just want to rock these. Like, I might rock them for a week. And I might put them away for quite some time. But... It just has a very nostalgic type of look to it, so I like it overall. These, on the other hand, these are going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to let these sit and uh, pull these out at a later date. But I like these more than these, but I like, I, it's weird. It's hard for me to explain. But overall, man, huge shout out to Puma for always showing the love and support. You know, um, Puma, this year has been a lot of Puma, a lot of Adidas. They've been sending me a lot of stuff. I've been, I've worked with them on a couple campaigns. It's, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing year. At the same time, they've been putting in a lot of work that goes unnoticed, especially Puma on this hand. A huge shout out to them. The craftsmanship is a hundred, and I, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's see, I didn't get no letter though. I, I, I did get a letter. Okay, I just want to make. Hey Tony, flash on. Show us how you snap your kicks, Puma at Puma Sports Style and Polarwood. So huge shout out to Puma for sending these boys on over. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday as well. And like I said, man, like right now, starting to do everything over the years, right? Like it was like Sockany was bringing the runners in the collaborations and stuff. And over time, Sockany kind of like died down a little bit. Um, the original series, I don't know what really happened, but with that died down, it seemed like Puma picked up where they left off and they've been going in. If you really look at what Puma has done this year, they've done so many collaborations and innovative things that I've just been telling you guys, I feel like they've just been unnoticed, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to like the models, but what they're doing and what they're trying to do, if you really look at it, I would give like, if I had a war ceremony, the most improved sneaker company of 2018 is is Puma, bro. Think about it. Let's stop. I understand that you guys may feel like some of you that I, I pushed them or I'm paid or whatever. Like, really just sit there and think about everything that Nike's done, that Jordan's done, that Adidas done. Look at these companies, right? Nike's done some good things. They got the off-whites. They've been doing stuff. I understand that. Collaboration, great, great thing. So, uh, with, with and Nike's been doing the Supreme and Nike, whatever, and then Nike and, and, and off-white. Uh, Bape and Adidas. Adidas does a lot of stuff with people as well. And then Ronnie Five does a lot of stuff with Nike. So, let's just get those out the way. But let's go to Puma. Puma. Polaroid. Puma's done something with the uh, Sega Genesis. Puma's done something with the uh, Roland beat making machine that we did that video on. Remember that over there? Puma's even done something with MCM, and I'm not a, I haven't been the biggest fan. I always kind of liked it because Mike Tyson wore it, but they did something with them on a pair of $400 shoes. Puma's done something with the WWE. Uh, what did they drop? 
like Ric Flair shoes or something. They did something. I remember in New York, uh, I was out there. I know they had Andre the Giant, they had Scott Hall, and they had Ric Flair. They were doing something with them with like on some shoes and stuff. The WWE did some stuff with Puma on shoes. They did something. I remember Christian Bright, Bull RC. I'm sorry, I don't know why I called him by his full name. Bull did something with them on like a champagne or something. They did a bottle of champagne. Puma and Fubu. So much stuff. A lot of shit they put out. So congratulations, Puma. And last but not least, the Puma basketball sneaker. They're here this year, basketball. They might not be the best. They might not be the best looking to you, but they are moving. So I got to applaud Puma for a great year, 2018. And um, before we do that, I want to check these out because I believe that these, this damn camera likes to focus on shoes instead of my face. But I want to see about this. I think this is 3M material. So it said turn the flash on. So let's, let's get a camera. Let's record some stuff. Let's just check it out. Hold on. Oh yeah, you can see it. You can see it on this camera. I just realized it. That flash is showing you. They're not that. Yeah, this whole thing is 3M. I'm gonna I'm pull it up on my thing, but yeah, cause these this toe box is the same. Yeah. Oh, this is dope. Okay. I like this. I like this that flash I got, cause it, it shows the 3M on shit now. Okay. It shows it. It shows it. You see it a little bit better. But we, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna throw it up on my camera too, so we can actually see. I don't think there's much 3M on here. It's 3M right there. You can see it like though, right? I know you guys can see that now. That's cool. Shout out to that flash right there. That flash is actually showing 3M. Cause usually you have to do it on your phone, which I'm still doing right now. But yeah, we're gonna show you guys on this. So yeah, you guys see that? Check him out. 3M all on the upper. This is the optic. These are available now, which will be linking down below. Three, oh wow, I did not know that was 3M on that. 3M there, 3 on the back. Okay. And then a little 3M right there. So like a little flash, the Polaroid, take a picture. Psh. This optic, basically when they do these collaborations, they do their inline and then they do the collaboration shoe. That's how they usually do it with a lot of stuff. Like when they did the Sonic shoes, they did the um, two Sonic sneakers, but then they did the RSO play which was a part of the gaming the whole game the restart was all about the gaming thing with this it's the polaroid collaboration two sneakers but this is called the optic it's a part of you know photography you see what i'm saying so that's how they usually do stuff that i noticed so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you slap a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new my hair is messed up right now my lady that does my hair won't be back till november 22nd i'm finding somebody to do my hair but i have never had anybody else touch my hair since I had dreads back in 2000 when I was 15 years old, I've had dreads two times. It's my second time getting dreads, so I gotta find somebody to retwist my shit, cause I can't live that much longer like this. And uh, yeah, you know, my shit look like it's leaning. My hairline, it ain't leaning, but it look like it's leaning. It look like it's leaning on camera. Shit, pizza hairline. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I appreciate all the love and support. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you guys on the next video, man. If you watched the full video, comment down below, pee poppers, and you can leave a comment too, like, good video, Tony, pee poppers, whatever, hashtag pee poppers, love the vid, whatever, yeah, I'm out. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Peace.